Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya and thank you very much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. And I, and I got the shade 450 and I also got the shade 495. The reason why I got the 495 is because I saw somebody contour with it and it looked so amazing, which is why I got it. Foundation of Fenty Beauty, now in a form of durable light as air powder that provides full coverage with a matte finish, available in 50 shades. Trust Rihanna to do that. This foundation is very easy to apply and gives the skin a flawless appearance, benefits, long lasting. Um, formula provides a flawless finish, resistant to sweat, moisture, and boiling. Wow light to full coverage i would really like to try this in summer where it's actually very hot because right now it's not very cold in where i am and it's not very warm so it'll be hard to determine but light to full coverage does not penetrate into wrinkles and lines and does not clog pores now i have small lines so god i hope i remember that i will check if my small lines will really not show. We will also know that um, reduces the effect of, of skin shine and powder case fits well in hand. That is true. Rihanna loves flawless skin but has never been able to find the perfect powder to meet her needs. After three years of perfecting this formula, she has developed this powder foundation that matches all skin, all skin colors good for vegan it's big it's a bigger friendly product with no ingredients of um, um, animal origin i don't have i just have face moisturizer and that is it so to prime my face because it's a soft matte powder it's not really matte i'm going to be using an oil primer you know just to and it's not just like an oil primer it's also a hydrating oil primer and this is from makeup obsession This is how it looks and when you open it, there is this um, application foam here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this application foam on one side and the brush on one side. And I'm loving this coverage I'm getting over here. However, I think it's dark. So to highlight my face, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 350. And as you can see, this is very light. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit and then over here. And one thing about this concealer is it is very full coverage. So a little goes a long way. And then I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender, which is a little bit dumb, but... I'm going to blend this out. I think the smile, the the smile lines is really true. I still can't see any line. So to set my my highlighted areas, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Insert Retouch. Such a long name, right? 
Now I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Clear Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Hazelnut. So anyway, I'm going to be contouring now and I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Foundation again in the shade 495. guys you see that oh this shit looks good I'm going to finish the rest of my face and I'll be back. So I'm done with the finished look and I don't know, I don't know if I like, I like everything put together depending on when I'm reviewing the footage. But my final thoughts are, would I use this regularly? Yes, if I'm going to work or you know, a place casually and I just need something light, not a lot, just to cover you know my blemishes and my dark spots yes i'll definitely use this will i use this when i want to do a full glam makeup like this no because putting um liquid on top of of on top of powder isn't something i'm comfortable doing or even good at doing because blending this shit out was hell but i would definitely I'll definitely use this regularly if I'm going to the office and you know casual commitments those kinds of things yes if I'm doing full glam I don't think I'll be reaching out to this I'm just going to go in with my liquid foundation and keep it moving um, and that will be your also guys why I, I, I want to take YouTube seriously yeah so I was looking at my analytics, but for the crime, who can so me can it be I was looking at man and hey, Randy, English is my second language. I was looking at my analytics, and eighty-one percent of you people watching my videos are not subscribed. Why? Why? Tell me. Tell me why. I'm waiting. While I'm waiting to subscribe, okay like just subscribe down below and turn your notification button on so that when i post youtube notifies you subscription is free and help me grow on this platform okay anyway that will be all for me if you did enjoy the video you already know what to do give it a thumbs up comments and i'll see you in my next video bye